I was trying to get a nice like shot of me with the beach behind me, but that wasn't gonna work. green this like beach grass is behind me isn't that like really pretty some trees I'm sitting in a nice little like covered area it's really nice hey babes it's flick and today I thought I would take you down to the beach and setting up a little altar because I haven't done like a proper ritual or anything in a fair while um, and I just wanted to give my thanks to nature and stuff and uh, yeah so I thought I'd come down to the beach set up my little travel altar and uh, yeah I'm not sure if you can see that but it's my bag it's my it used to be a plastic bottle bag uh, World Wildlife Foundation <laughs> Panda uh, it's got my journal and other bits and bobs and this old shoebox has actually got my all the stuff in it and then a little house decoration that I'm using for like a board. And yes, the beach. I'm like hiding in this like little nook over here. But yes. So I figured I'd show you what's actually in my little travel altar shoe box. Um <laughs> so we'll start off with this. Um my mom got these like oh, almost ten plus years ago at this um no way she saw down by the beach in the old town we used to live by and um like she kept it for ages and then she gave it to me because she knew I love crystals and stones and stuff so I got those I keep them in here because actually underneath like each gem it has the name of them and I'm still trying to learn the name of like stones and crystals by their appearance so it just helps with that then I have my mini target which I used a little elastic to hold it. It's just a cheap little um, thing, like a tarot deck from eBay. It's like a Chinese one, but I use it for like journaling prompts and stuff, more so than actual tarot reading. Um, and then we have, whoop, I have a stick of incense in here, which is called Sea Breeze, which smells absolutely divine. Um, I just bought that because I wanted to light an incense and I just thought it was fitting. Um, and I have a little tea like candle. And I have some more of my crystals here. This is just an assortment. This baby right here I use as my uh, center pillar crystal. Watching my foot. Now I can't remember the name of it off by heart so that's why I have these little pieces of paper from when I bought it so it is a <laughs> I'm terrible at pronouncing that Scythia Kythia I don't know whatever that one is that's what this little baby is yes and then I have my Rose Quartz Sphere. And then I have a couple of other ones. So I've got like Amethyst, uh, Clear Quartz, all that jazz. And then lastly in here, I have this little baby wrapped in paper. To keep it protected. Here's my little water cloth, which I'll try and... It's a little Siamese cat, but nope. it's a little Siamese cat with a star on his forehead. And this is actually a patch that I got off Etsy from Lily C. I'm pretty sure. I'll link the shop in the uh, description below. But yeah, so looks a mess right now. But uh, this is the little travel altar, and I will be setting it up for now. Okay, guys, so I have my altar now set up. This is what it looks like. 
So I have my pillar crystal there. I'm not going to even try and pronounce it again. Um, I've got some fossilized coral around the edges. Tila candle, white halite, green avatrine, uh, amethyst cluster, Ooh, a bit of sand. Um, my sea breeze incense there, and I found this little shell. Which, uh, yeah, my phone's no good at focusing. But yeah, so this is the altar, and this is my view. I'm about to get started. Hey peeps, so I just finished my reflective journaling. Um, as you saw in the previous clip, I drew a tarot card. Uh, I asked my questions, my intentions and all that. Uh, did the journaling prompt with the card and stuff. Uh, and yeah, I feel really good. Uh, I feel a lot more at peace than I did this morning and for the past like week, so I'm very happy about that. Um, what I forgot to show you, which I don't think you saw in the other clip, because I can't, it's so sunny I can't tell. Uh, but I have these little, like, dropping everything, little, like, glass bottles with cork, um, with cork tops. Here, let me get one out of the bag and show you. So I carry some of these around with me. They're just really tiny, like, really tiny, that was for size perspective. Um, really tiny little glass bottle jar things with cork tops. Um, I have one at home which I'm making into a pendant that I'm wearing. Um, it's going to be full of some personal stuff which I'm going to do a video on so that's why I'm not mentioning it now. Um, but I brought a couple of these because I wanted to collect some sand, possibly some seawater and any other bits and bobs I might find around here. So uh, Okay, peeps, so I just collected some little fossilized uh, coral in one of my little jars because, I don't know, I wanted a little piece, I've got like bigger pieces at home, but I wanted little pieces for like spot work and stuff, so yes. So I've also just collected a little vial, jar, bottle, whatever you want to call it, of sand where my altar was just down here, and yes. I got this sand in particular where my altar was because today just felt really special and I wanted a little piece of that so yeah. Have my little beachy stuff all packed up where I have my altar set up and yes, the beach. So yes I guess that's the end of this beachy Alter video. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, but uh, yes, anyway, thanks for joining me, peeps. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you're smiling at least once, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.